Um, we're turning now to a completely different part of the world and uh, we have colleagues joining us from Indonesia. So we have um, Mr. Anam, who is from Mohammedia Disaster Management Center, which goes by MDMC, which is a faith-based organization who's been leading the subcluster of CCCM together with an IOM colleague, Mr. Bayou. Um, can you, Bayou, are you there? Do you want to put up? Yes, there you are. So nice to see you. And welcome, Mr. Anam. Welcome, Bayou. Hello, welcome, Miss. Um, we're going to go ahead and, uh, oh, wonderful. I'm so glad your video is working. Um, you're going to be presenting us about a little bit about the cluster system and in a, in a recent emergency response um, in Indonesia. So over to you. Yes, thank you so much, uh, Jennifer. This is uh, really uh, an honor for us for sharing our experience in Indonesia especially on how we actually roll out the CCCM subclusters in Indonesia. And I would like to share some screens. Okay, colleague, could you see my screen now? We do, and it's it's also in presentation mode. There you go. Okay. Uh, thank you. First of all, I would like to thank you to uh, Jennifer for the opportunity and colleagues from all over the world uh, from the CCCM subclusters. And we would like to share about our experience uh, responding to the Chiajur earthquake uh, on the 2022 and we actually have uh, some sort of uh, presentations on how actually in Indonesia uh, context that might be good to become uh, knowledge for us in implementing how the CCCM work in Indonesia. Uh, as you can see now, um, Indonesia is one of the countries in the world that have the most exposed to disasters. Like during the 2022, there are many disasters occur. For such an example, an earthquake that have been uh, happening like 28 times earthquake happening and also eruptions. And also we have an extreme weather floods will quite dominantly and also landslide and drought and all the disasters are caused to internally displace mostly like 6,144,000 and 534 peoples. And this is mostly uh, become one of an extensions of like 6.5 million people have been displaced in disasters during 2010 and 2001 and seemingly going to increase due to the environmental change. But yes, in Indonesia, we have a strongly disaster response mechanism from the government. And we also include a localized humanitarian coordination system that already developed by the colleagues uh, from the NGOs and the UN agencies in Indonesia. We are very proud that we are very engaged in disaster response and we have a a uh, great mechanism on coordination using the cluster mechanisms. For example, that we might uh, implement uh, the cluster system in Indonesia is quite differently from that we have in the global. For example, that we have the search and rescue uh, clusters and we have the logistic. There are so we have the displacement and protections and infrastructures and facilities, health, early recovery, economy, and education. Most of the clusters have a ministry level who 
leading the clusters and we all the colleagues from the UN and also from the NGOs are become part of the agencies that include in the subclusters to become the members and uh, every step on the disaster management cycles that happening in Indonesia. And if there is a disaster happening, mostly the government will doing the rapid assessment and then after the rapid assessment results, we, we, will, we will waiting for the government official statement on disasters and how it's actually the scale and then the governments also will uh, involving the NGOs and organizations to deploy the emergency response team. During the deployment of the emergency response team, we all the organizations that part of the member of the clusters are going to have a coordination meeting. And for example, that we have in for the subcluster of CCCM is part of the national cluster for protections and displacements. And after we have a meetings, we will actually uh, confirm which actually the organizations that already involved in the emergency response and, and really opening the doors that do they going to be involved in the emergencies and going to commit in the subclusters, especially when uh, they are already in the fields. So for example, that when the earthquake is secured in Jianjur in 21st November in 22, well, we actually waiting for some organizations in, in, in NGOs, national local NGOs in Indonesia to see how they actually going to move in and respond to the situations in Jianjur. And then after we heard that some of the colleagues already there, we coordinate with the ministry levels and we also conduct a coordination meeting with the, the Ministry of Social Affairs to have uh, also involving the social agency in district level to, to see what actually happened in the field. And after we uh, coordinate for the initial meetings, we will identify which actually the organizations already involved. And for in this case that we fail, uh, happening in C in, in Jianjur, we see that one of the organizations that are also have a commitment is the MDMC. And we are trying to see how is actually they are going to involve and participate and also going to implement some of their emergency response program and see the possibility of the resource that they have to also participate as the, the subcluster in, in CCCM. Since well, one of the challenge in Indonesia is in CCCM subclusters, we actually have a limited resource for having a commit, committed, dedicated uh, organizations for become the, the subclusters um, coordinator. Since we have that limited, so we see the potential organizations might will be involved if they're they already have a, a, a some program or uh, for some program and also have the 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 activity that already implementing during the emergency response in the field. So after we have the meetings, then we communicate earlier with the MDMC with the team and seeking any possibilities to implement that they could also implement or activate the CCCM subclusters in Jianjur. So uh, there are, we already have the commitment then also the MDMCs also have committed to become the coordinators for the CCCM subcluster coordinators in Jianjur. And we would like to share to you the experience from the MBMC. And I will share the room with uh, Mr. Anam. Since uh, Mr. Anam is going to uh, presenting in Bahasa Indonesia, I will help uh, him to uh, translate all that uh, he presenting. So, uh, Mr. Anam, do you already in the room? Hello? 
Mr. Aram. Halo, uh, sore Mas Bayu. Halo. Okay. Halo, halo. Selamat sore. Selamat sore Mas, Mas Bayu. Suara terdengar, suara saya. Ya, terdengar dengan baik, Mas Anam. Mas Anam, kita sudah ada di ruangan meeting untuk bisa mempresentasikan pengalaman dari teman-teman MDMC selama menjadi koordinator subklaster KMTP. Jadi kita bisa mulai ya, Mas Anam, nanti untuk slide yang akan kita tampilkan bisa saya bantu untuk jalankan. Jadi Mas Anam cukup sampaikan saja kalau memang harus dipindahkan dan sampaikan apa yang ingin Mas Anam sampaikan berdasarkan pengalaman. Silakan Mas Anam. Siap Mas Bayu, e, mungkin bisa dibuka slide profil MDMC sebentar. Halo Mas Bayu. Silakan, silakan. Oke untuk e, sedikit menggambarkan profil MDMC. MDMC adalah Muhammadiyah Disaster Management Center. Berdasarkan kondisi objektif tersebut, di tahun 2010 Muhammadiyah meresmikan pendirian Lembaga Penanggulangan Bencana, Penanggulangan Bencana Muhammadiyah, yaitu MDMC. MDMC mengadopsi kode etik kerelawanan kemanusiaan dan piagam kemanusiaan yang berlaku secara internasional, mengembangkan misi pengurangan risiko bencana, selaras dengan Hego Fembok, for action dan mengembangkan basis kesiapsiagaan di tingkat komunitas sekolah dan rumah sakit berbasis gerakan Muhammadiyah sejak 100 tahun ya. yang lalu. Uh, mas Bayu okay. bisa dibuka respon ya. petanya Mas? Iya sebentar Pak. Saya ya. bantu untuk uh, sedikit menjelaskan ke rekan-rekan di ruangan dulu ya Mas Anam. Ya. Ya. Oke. Okay. I would like to share about you first of all regarding the MDMC profile. Should you have see in the slides that MDMC stands for the Muhammadiyah Disaster Management Center. Muhammadiyah is like Islamic movement following in the footsteps of the Prophet Muhammad in this already established from 1912. So it is all already over like 100 years in the field of education and health. And based on the experience in 2006 due to the earthquake and 2010 due to the Mon Merapi eruptions, uh, the Muhammadiyah is committed to establish uh, some organizations that more focus on disaster management. So in 2010, uh, they committed the uh, official establishment of the MDMC uh, in, in Yogyakarta and also They committed to the international humanitarian volunteerism ethics and humanitarian charters. Also, it is part of the agency mandate to working on disaster management activities, both in mitigations, preparedness, emergency response, and rehabilitation activities. Okay, Mas Anam, selanjutnya. Ya, yeah, lanjut di respon Muhammadiyah. Sejak 2010. MDMC mulai di tahun 2016 sampai 2022 respon ada 33 wilayah atau 33 wilayah dengan 543 kejadian okay. antaranya ada banjir, gempa, tsunami, karutlah dan yang lain serta di 2016 sampai 2022 MDMC respon di luar negeri di tiga kejadian, diantaranya adalah di banjir Palestine, banjir Malaysia, dan respon Rohingya, Bangladesh. Silakan Mas Bayu. Yeah. So, as you can see in the slides, uh, the Muhammadiyah or the MDMC is already have operational, opera, operational their movement to disaster management issue from 2016 to 2022. There are 33 locations and 543 events that already faced by the MBMC from the floods, uh, land movements, earthquake eruptions, and also fires, and we also find uh, uh, any droughts and social conflicts and a tsunami. So, Besides working in Indonesia, and MDMC also working overseas 
for example, like in Philippines, for spawn in Typhoon Hainan in the Philippines, and also working on the earthquake in Nepal, and also in Bangladesh for health emergency service refugees, particularly in Kokzar. So, besides that, uh, last FPMC also responds to earthquake in Turkey in 2023 and now besides working on the emergency response also working on the rehabilitation silakan Mas Anam ya uh, selanjutnya MDMC juga di tahun sampai 2003 ini kemarin selain badai yang Filipin terus pelayanan kesehatan di Rohingya respon gempa Nepal, yang terakhir adalah respon gempa bumi di Turki sekaligus menghibahkan uh, peralatan rumah sakit lapangan untuk Turki. Ya, Mas Baik. Ya, besides working like uh, in 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 the past, we also working in Turkey and we also support the uh, mobile hospital in in Nepal to serve the ITBs in in of the earthquakes. Silakan Mas Anam. Uh, itu juga MDMC menginisiasi pembentukan emergency medical team yang uh, proses sekarang sudah mau penyerahan sertifikat dari WHO. As you can see that MDMC is also uh, initiates for emergency medical team uh, that registered to WHO and still waiting uh, the approvals and the certificate from the WHO and hoping that this team could become uh, one of the organizations that working in a health in emergency from Indonesia. Thanks. Ada beberapa mitra yang bekerja sama dengan MDMC selain di internal Muhammadiyah diantaranya ada Humanitarian Forum Indonesia, IOM, USAID, Alliance Peduli, Global Peace Malaysia, CRS, The Asia Foundation, dan Direct Relief. Ya, yeah. um, for the partnerships, we actually open to all agency and organizations. Aside from local organizations, we are also working with international organizations, uh, include IOM, and we are also working in international NGOs such as uh, CRS or Catholic Relief Services. Uh, this is quite interesting since uh, we working as a faith-based organization, we see that uh, humanitarian missions and mandate is across the border, so it's not going to like have a, a separate due to because of some different faith, but it is uh, also become a, uh, one of missions that uh, could become uh, a good partnership. For example, uh, we in Indonesia for faith-based organizations have a humanitarian forum in Indonesia. This is a faith-based organizations forum and all the agency that based on faith are working on the humanitarian is will coordinate uh, in, in this forum for every uh, disaster management cycles. Silakan Mas Anam. Ya. Di Gembaci Anjur, MDMC melakukan respon di tujuh klaster, diantaranya satu kesehatan, dua hunian atau shelter, tiga logistik, keempat SAR atau evakuasi, kelima WOS dan sanitation, keenam psikososial, ketujuh pendidikan. Jumlah beneferis yang didampingi MDMC 1965 KK eh, 6100 jiwa. Silakan Mas Bayi. Ya, during the response in Cianjur, we actually openize uh, CCCM subclusters and participate in seven subclusters, for example, like health, shelters, logistics, search and evacuations, wash, uh, psychosocial support, education. And we already have like 6,100 beneficiaries and we always 
ensure that we are provide assistance to the IDPs until uh, they have a significant uh, significant durable solutions. Silakan Mas Anam. Selain itu MDMC mengaktifasi subklaster uh, CCM atau KMTP dalam respon gempa Cianjur. Beberapa tahapan asesmen masyarakat terdampak, proses aktivasi CCM yang inklusif dan memberdayakan dan pengelolaan pengungsian. Silakan Mas Ya. Yeah. During the activations of CCM subclusters in Cianjur, we actually started uh, assessment to the affected uh, populations then we also uh, have coordinated with the other organizations that include in the national clusters for displacement and protections then we ensure that what actually we need to do with the cccm subclusters for example after we already agreed with iom we actually seeing that possibilities of uh, how to coordinate many organizations in the the affected locations to have uh, well informations and update related to the activity that that they are implemented so we going but firstly we actually ensure that the the citizen participants participations and determine the evacuations design and development process if we going to start the the CCCM and during that we also consider about the local wisdom and paying attention on the special need of the risk group by consulting across the clusters and uh, we also paying attention to the protections in the shelter designs so this is part of how we ensure that other subclusters is coordinated by the cccm subclusters on how we actually address the IDP's needs. So then after we activate the CCCM, we ensure that uh, we could managing the camp based on the, the need and also based on the organizations in the location. Since we know that every organization in the locations have a different uh, scope of area that they are working we just to make sure that every organizations is abide to for example on the mechanism how they abide to the pshpa or prevention on sexual exploitation and abuse also how to develop the monitoring and evaluation during coordinations on the cccm implementations Silakan, Mas Anam. Terakhir, uh, rekomendasi dari MDMC uh, berkaitan dengan CCCM. Uh, ya. Yang pertama adalah perlunya rencana kontingensi KMTP dengan karakteristik wilayah perbukitan dan daratan tinggi seperti Cianjur. Dua, pentingnya peningkatan kapasitas lembaga pemerintah dari tingkat pusat di kementerian hingga tingkat desa untuk memahami pengolahan pengungsian berbasis komunitas, mengintensifkan koordinasi antar lembaga non-pemerintah dan pemerintah dalam kondisi tidak terjadi bencana, atau meningkatkan kapasitas koordinasi dan kesiapsiagaan dalam tanggap darurat bencana berbasis pendekatan klaster. Silakan Mas Bayu. Ya, um, as a part of our experience, we actually have the lesson learned and recommendations that we already written as you can see but my point is on the uh, recommendation especially on how we can develop a contingency plan for the cccm implementation start from the activations based on the locations in area such as uh, especially on, on considering the geographic area since from the experience of Cianjur, we have uh, quite a challenge there are scattered idps in Cianjur, and also uh, we 
have a challenge on how we're going to develop the coordinations mechanism due to these scattered IDPs in 400 sites. So one is we need to develop some contingency plans and also we need to ensure that there are a capacity building for the the government from the central levels and till the district level to ensure that they really understand what is their role since cccm are the key role is in the government since we know that if uh, the government fully won were about the cccm they also can decide or develop a policy that considering how to make sure that the idps is hand with durable solutions so this is a part of the point that i would like to address in the global level and hopefully that this is can be a lesson learned for all of us silakan mas anam ya rekomendasi yang bisa diberikan agar dalam menjalankan tugas sebagai koordinator sub cluster KMTP dalam tanggap darurat bencana di kemudian hari CCM global untuk lebih banyak membuka ruang dan peluang untuk lembaga lokal bisa mendapatkan peningkatan kapasitas dan memperluas jaringan lembaga lokal agar bisa lebih mandiri dan tangguh. Kedua, selain kami lembaga lokal dalam bidang bidang bencana ada baiknya juga untuk melibatkan lembaga pemerintah Indonesia seperti BNPB, Kemensos agar dapat memaksimalkan peran kunci pemerintah sebagai pengapu pengolahan pengelolaan pengungsi sehingga bisa berorientasi pada solusi yang berkelanjutan untuk mengakhiri pengungsian yang disebabkan oleh bencana. Silakan Mas Bay. Ya. So, uh, lastly about my point of the recommendations is that uh, since it's a good opportunity for the in CCM global meeting, so I would like to have a request that is it any possibilities to CCM global to also open for our uh, local organizations like us have a more space and opportunities to gain any capacity building and expand our local institution networks so that they can be more independent and we also have a resilience during we going to implement the CCCM in the field during the emergency response. A part of being the local institution in the fields, also we have a request that is it any possibilities that we also involve the government in every meeting so they can also improve their knowledge and also the capacity since like uh, previously that I already said that government have the key role in the CCCM, especially when and and in the IDPs, especially when they're going to develop the policy, going to end the IDPs with the durable solutions. So hopefully this is uh, can become the points to also heard by the CCCM global communities. Silakan, Mas Anam. Yeah, thank you, Mas Bayu. Saya rasa cukup itu pengenalan MDMC teman-teman uh, semuanya. Selamat sore, thank you very much, uh, Miss Jennifer dan teman-teman yang lain. Terima kasih atas waktunya. Silakan Mas Bayu. I think that's all from me and my experience with MDMC and thank you so much for this moment for us for sharing the experience for us uh, being one of the first uh, CCCM uh, subcluster coordinators in Indonesia. And I would like to thank you especially for Miss Jennifer and all colleagues that already attend in the in the in these meetings. And as you can see now, we have the some of the activities that already done by the MDMCs. Uh, there are developing the emergency shelters uh, since many of the IDPs still doesn't have any adequate uh, shelters after the earthquake and we are also seeing that the participations from the community to involve in developing the emergency shelters uh, between the communities and MDMCs doing in the in Cianjur 
and also this is the PSEA information guide that uh, trying to develop and showing in presents in the camps from the MDMC. And this is many of the activities that, that participate in the seven subclusters which MDMC actively involved. And thank you so much and terima kasih Mas Anam and thank you so much colleagues and that's all from Indonesia and hopefully that it can be one of our lesson learns and maybe there is some questions so we open it to you. I'm back in to you uh, Jennifer. Thank you. Makasi. Anam Makasi, Mr. Anam, and thank you so very much for um, coming and speaking. I know that you are bereaved, Mr. Anam, and so I, I honor your your um, your family, and particularly because we're in the holy month of Ramadan, and we're anticipating with you um, being finished with that. But I really, I really appreciate your um, your your most sincere message, which was that humanitarian missions stretch across borders, and yes. that the humanitarian work that Mahamadiya is doing together um, on your own to build the capacity and to take the leadership role uh, in the Sinjar emergency response for the people who have lost everything because of the horrible earthquake there. I just want to say thank you so much for that that good work. And we do indeed want more local organizations to be engaged in the um, very difficult work of CCCM. And you pointed that out so well through your through your presentation. So um, Bayou, I know that you have um, other obligations and I thank you both. Um, it's really yeah. been so great to see this, this wonderful um, presentation today. And thank you, thank you, thank you for joining. Um, to everyone who is online now, we are going to take a, a break for lunch. Uh, it's, it's maybe a little bit early for people who are in Central Europe, but it's, it's coming on the time to break fast um, back in Asia. And so we want to be able to, to let people do that. Um, thanks to everyone who's turning on their cameras. Let's just do that as a quick way of wrapping up. Uh, Muhammad Ali, I see you turning on your camera. If everybody else, Juan, there you are. Everybody who's there, if we can just do a quick um, shout out to everyone who joined this morning. Oh, Malik, so nice to see you. Uh, lots of friends all around the world. It's so great. Um, people driving, people um in their offices people joining from many many places around the world thank you everyone for the really inspiring presentations this morning there was a lot of connections we went around the world truly we went um you know starting with um the the tender work of the collaboration between the alliance of child protection and the minimum standards in camp management to thinking about um, persons with disabilities to how we can really kind of systematize and reduce some of the tedious work that comes with multiple sites through site manager. Um, and then the, the, the capacity building work with the standards in camp management in Ukraine, and then now wrapping up in Indonesia and the, um, the work on localization of the cluster, as well as the, the response to Sinjar. Um, so thanks very, mo very much everyone who's presented.